Grandfather Alden sat in a lawn chair and poured a glass of lemonade. It was a hot August day with the sky a bright blue. When Violet went by, he said, Violet, dear, call the others, will you? Yes, Grandfather, she answered. Ten-year-old Violet was a lovely girl who was shy and sweet. In a few minutes, all four of the grandchildren sat on the grass before Mr. Alden. Henry, Jessie, Violet, and Benny loved their grandfather. They remembered when their parents had died, and they had run away to hide in a boxcar. They had heard their grandfather was a mean old man, and they had been afraid that he would find them. When Violet became ill and a doctor was needed, the doctor told her grandfather about the children. It was then that they went to live with him and discovered that Grandfather wasn't mean at all. He was kind and good. He always encouraged them to follow their own ideas. Grandfather Alden poured each child a glass of cold lemonade, then leaned back in his chair. I have some interesting news for you, he said, his warm smile widening. Henry and Jessie leaned forward. What could his news be? Violet was quiet as usual, but her eyes were big with curiosity. Benny, the youngest, only six, couldn't stand it any longer. He jumped up and danced around his grandfather. What is it? he asked. Grandfather laughed. He knew how much Benny loved an adventure. In fact, they all loved an adventure. Even watched their dog, who lay at Jessie's feet. Grandfather became serious. I've just talked to Pete Hansen. Doesn't he own the cafe and bait shop in Rock Falls near the bay? Henry asked. Yes, he does, Grandfather answered. Pete told me that the small village's old library is going to be torn down. You know it hasn't been used in many years. Why? Benny asked. Well, Grandfather said, not only were there not enough people in town, but when the librarian left several years ago, no one took her place. I remember seeing the boarded-up library once, 12-year-old Jessie said. I don't remember, Benny shouted. I want to see it. I think we're all about to see the library, Benny, Henry said. He looked at his grandfather. Isn't that right? That's right, Henry. Grandfather Alden replied. Henry was only fourteen, but he was wise and understanding. Grandfather finished his lemonade and said, That library belongs to the town of Rock Falls, and it has shelves and shelves of old books that probably need to be sorted out. I remember that lovely library building when I was young. My family had a house in Rock Falls where we spent our summers. How young were you? Benny asked. I was a little boy like you, Grandfather said. And I was fond of the old library. And now I want to see the town council give it landmark status. What is landmark status, Grandfather? This time Violet asked the question. When a building is saved by the public so that everyone can enjoy its history... Wouldn't you like to explore the place and see what's in the library? And neaten it up so it looks good enough to be a landmark? Yes, yes, Benny said. An adventure. When can we go? You can leave tomorrow, Grandfather said, a twinkle in his eyes. I received permission from Pete. You see, Pete owns a small house on the edge of the village. During the summer months, he lives and works in his restaurant, and in the winter, he lives in his house, carving and painting fish lures. Jessie stood up. Even though she was two years younger than Henry, she always knew what needed to be done. How wonderful to be able to stay in Pete's house. We'll need bedding, food, and some cooking pots. No cooking pots or bedding. Grandfather laughed. You'll find Pete's place is well equipped. You'll even find some canned and packaged goods on the shelf. 